man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. It's going down. You know what I mean? Salute to the fam. Good morning. So while I'm up this morning doing some research, doing a quick research dig and seeing what's going on in boxing, one of the things I came across is the Teofimo Lopez video where he was speaking about his father and the relationship with his father. Now, the reason uh, this came of interest to me is because I've been noticing in the comments, a lot of y'all have been saying about Teofimo Lopez that his father may be pushing him too hard. And a lot of people believe that his father is trying to live through the son. Now, we've seen this many a times in boxing. Uh, this is, you know, one of the reasons that the WBC a while ago was even considering banning fathers from the corners because uh, of a lot of emotional attachments between fathers and sons. And sometimes it pushes the son to go above and beyond and get himself hurt, trying to impress the father and the father pushing them so hard. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and, and, and it's, it, it's a bad thing. To have a son get defeated in front of his father. He's going to go above and beyond and even risk injury. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this made the WBC come to that conclusion. It wasn't the right decision. And the WBC didn't do it. But at once upon a time, it was on the horizon. Now, I finally caught the video up here. We're going to play a quick clip about it, man. It is kind of kind of emotional. It is kind of heart, you know, pulls at the heart strings, you know, a, a little bit. And it does kind of make you feel a little bit bad for Teofimo. But then again, you got to smack that up out your head real fast, real fast, because this is boxing. We're going to talk more about this. But let's listen to a quick clip real quick. My relationship with my father, um, it's not the same. Yeah. Not the same. I still love him, but, um, it's not the same. I think that, um, <sighs> he got, um, too caught up, uh, with this whole boxing world. I have an on and off switch for a reason. And, um, <laughs> uh, my father, man, I, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. But this boxing world, man, you gotta make sacrifices. You gotta make um, a lot of sacrifices, that's for sure. And, um, I'm hurt. I'm hurt by the, the relationship that we have. Um, I mean, we make the most out of it. At least I do. But um, I wish that my father could be my father sometimes, rather than just always my coach. Mm. Wow. That last statement right there was kind of powerful. I wish he can be my father sometimes instead of being my coach. Ooh, that's tough. Now, you see the lead article over on Boxing Scene today, and you see they're talking about this. And from what the quotes are in that particular article, it seems like that they are in a good place today. This seemingly took place at the beginning of the camp, according to Teofimo Lopez. And, of course, he was feeling some kind of way then, but things have changed since then according to Teofimo Lopez Sr., as well as The Sun, and they're in a much better place today. Now, I, I don't have the direct quotes, but it's over there on boxing scene. And uh, the father pretty much talked like he didn't find out about this until he actually saw this on TV. So, you know, this is kind of rough, man. It's kind of rough. And it's never easy for a son to just come out uh, to their father with things like this, especially in the middle of competition. You know what I mean? You're getting prepared for the biggest fight of your career. Why come out with something like this now, right? Well, he didn't come out to the to his father in a quiet room. He came out to the world and showed everybody this. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's heavy. But I'm gonna say this: you got a man up, son. You know what I'm saying? And I know what people may say. Look, if you had your auntie or maybe your mom's or somebody, and they seen something like this, they'll be like, "Stop going so hard on that boy." Leave that boy alone. Let him rest. Let him enjoy his life. Let him enjoy his money. Let him just relax. Just take it easy on him. Let him get some time off. That's how they will respond to that. But anyone from the boxing world or anybody, any coach, any trainer, any male figure would say, boy, if you don't wipe them tears off your face and get back in that gym, you better do that for you know what's good for you. You gots to be that way, fam. 
this kid will not be. I'm a believer that you need that figure behind you, pushing you constantly, especially if someone that you respect and you admire in a way and you want to, you know, impress like your father. You got to keep pushing because guess what? The same way that Teofimo Lopez and his father was beefing at the beginning of the camp and they're good today. Well, look, he will look back at a time like that if he got two, three, four titles around his belt, I mean, around his waist, and he will say, I'm glad my father did that. I'm glad my father did that. He's trying to push you to greatness. And of course, Teofimo Lopez is 22 years old. He don't understand probably what's going on right now. Now, now, don't get me wrong, neither. Of course, a father can go too far and they can live through their kid, you know, living through their hopes and dreams. And we heard a lot of the trash talk that Teofimo Senior has been saying, but I never really got the notion that he wanted the spotlight. I never got the notion that he's trying to live through his son. I never got that. I always got that he's just promoting this. He base him and his son base what they're doing, that they are future stars. And they want to take Vasily Lomachenko's place as the rightful star over at Top Rank Boxing. So I think what Teofimo Senior is doing is just trying to walk in that role and make his son hot and make his son the top dog over at Top Rank. Earn more respect. Show him that he's a draw. Show Bob Arum that we can draw. We can sell. That's what Teofimo Senior, I believe, is doing. But Teofimo Senior needs to also recognize when you're pushing your kid too far. And if your kids start crying to the world and he's screaming out for his daddy, that means also you need to stop and take a step back and say, OK, what am I doing wrong here? I'm sure they've gotten to that point by now. But at the end of the day, I think that Teofimo Lopez put being pushed this way will be thankful if he is successful. He will look back and say, it's because of my dad pushing me like this is why I got to this level. It's because of my dad coming in there, waking me up early in the morning, training, 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 training. No time to sit back and play catch in the yard. No time to, 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 to go to the baseball, the football game, whatever. You know, those times will come, hopefully, when the fight is over. But right now, it's warfare. It's straight up warfare. You are on the top floor. You are facing Vasil Lomachenko, one of the best boxers in the sport. This is warfare. You have no room for little pink bunnies. In, in daddy son time right now, you know? So, but he carrying, I, I just wonder with Teofimo Lopez carrying all of this though into a fight, man, how would this play out? He claims that his Nakatani performance, the performance where a lot of folks said he got touched up a lot, which he did. And he even admitted that it wasn't his best performance. And afterwards he said that he wouldn't, didn't want to face any more tall fighters. But his out-of-the-ring situations, according to Teofimo Lopez, affected him in that fight. Now, even though this was at the beginning of the camp, and hopefully it should be bottled up by fight night, will this affect Teofimo Lopez? Is he being pushed too hard? Is he being rushed? Is his father the one driving this and pushing him way too hard too fast? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I just think that he's a 22-year-old kid and he's being whipped into shape. That's what I believe. I'm a former, uh, I went to, I've been in the Air Force. When I first went to basic training and I walked up in there, I came straight off the block, came straight off the corner. You know what I'm saying? I looked like a struck match, champ. I was in that joint, man, mugging everybody, ready to fight everybody. I was a different person. I had to be broken down and built back up and reconditioned in a way. Because I didn't understand that back then. 18-year-old, I, I didn't understand that. Until I was there for a while and I started to see things. And then I started to see the results of me actually sitting, learning and listening and becoming disciplined for a short amount of time. It paid off. It paid off big time. It got me a career. It got me a future. I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't realize what they were doing. I thought that they all hated me. Until I realized on graduation that I want all of these folks who dumped on me, yelled at me, put their hands in my face, get screaming at me. I want them right here front row when they see me walking across the stage to graduate. That's what I wanted. I went back and got all the people that yelled and, and trained and jumped on me and da 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 and I brought them all back and I asked them and invited them all, all my uh, instructors to my graduation for tech school. And they came. But if you would have asked me walking through them doors that first night when I arrived in San Antonio, 
if you would have asked me then that uh do I understand what they're gonna be doing? Do I want these unknown cats who I'm I'm straight off the streets, I'm carrying knives, all kind of weapons with me daily, and I ain't never letting nobody look at me and say nothing to me wrong. And then I got these strangers, I don't care how big your muscles are, all that stuff, bro. You got all these wild strangers over me yelling and screaming. My mindset was totally different. I was ready to swing on first night. But by the time basic training was over, by the time tech school was over, I was a different person. And I started to see all of that had to be done. And that's what I'm hoping happened with Teofimo Lopez. And at this moment, this is not the moment for emotions. This is not even the moment for Teofimo Lopez to dwell on this. But at the end of the day, after this is over, maybe some repairing can be, can ha be had. But right now is not the place, not, not the time to have anything like that in your mind going into this fight. Will it affect them? Will it affect them, fam? Lomachenko and his dad seem to be cool. Never seen he have no, you know, family drama play out in the public. Uh, Teofimo Lopez has dealt with other family issues, dealing with his wife and his sisters and stuff like that. He got a lot of food on his plate and he's young. Y'all got to understand when you're young like that, you're full of emotions. You don't know. You're still trying to find yourself. You're still trying to understand the world. And maybe that's what Teofimo Lopez is at. I only wonder, is he still curious and still searching for something? In the middle of the biggest fight of his life. That's what I wonder. We'll see. Fight night will tell. I see y'all real soon. Thumbs up for the fam. Rock the bells for the homie, man. Much love to all of y'all. Everybody in Main Man Made Man's Boxing Forum on Facebook. We will go live soon. Uh, we could not do We Talking Boxing because of the 9 to 5 that we're speaking about now. You know what I'm saying? But um, unfortunately. But I will be getting on here sometime today. Hopefully live if, I'm, if everything goes well. Because uh, I want to break down the styles of Lomachenko versus Lopez. Much love to the fam, man. Salute to everybody, man. And uh, we'll get up on here real soon, man. But I hope this doesn't play out in the ring for Teofimo, man. Because you got to bottle it up, champ. You got to bottle all of this up. That's a painful situation, though. And, and to say that one training camp is going to bury that, I mean, that's not realistic. But wow. We'll see. To the next video. Peace out.